Hello, this is Artem Barsky, co-founder of Datarium, and today we will talk about analyzing RNA-seq data inside up. So first, uh, we need to make sure that we have the right pipelines attached to our project. So for this, we click on this uh, three button menu and we can go into the edit and look at RNA-seq. Okay, so here we have pipelines for both differential and initial analysis of RNA-seq. So the pipelines that uh, we recommend to use are based in Trim Galore. So the IKEA Trim Galore RNA-seq uh, that's trans-specific. So use trans-specific pipelines if your experiment are trans-specific or DVTP or you use non-trans-specific pipeline single read or paradent if your experiments are not trans-specific. Also, if you are interested specifically in the expression of mitochondrial genes, you can use one of the mitochondrial pipelines. So now with the right pipelines attached to our project, we can go back to the project and add the data. So uh, let's uh, look at the data. The data that we're going to add are from our recent paper uh, on uh, co-stimulation used FE1 uh, activity in uh, T-cell activation. And as you can see here, there are three subseries. So we're going to the one that's related to RNA-seq. And here we have uh, 20 samples. What we're going to compare, we're going to compare five hour activation uh, to five hour uh, naive cells. Uh, so we have duplicates here. So let's start with uh, replicate one. So this is the GSM record. We can uh, go to the SRX button or to sample uh, by sample button. And what we need to find is the SRR number. So here we click at SRA. And this is the SRA number we need. So I'm going to copy it. And uh, here you can also see what is uh, the data type. So these are single experiment. And you can also see that we used stranded poly A RNA uh, sample prep. Let's go back to side up. Uh, here we click at plus button, add new experiment. For experiment uh, type, we want to uh, select experiment type, we want to select RNA-seq uh, pipeline, single read, trans-specific. Here, uh, we give samples a name, naive RNA replicate one. Cells are CD4. Naive. Conditions are testing. Genome is human. And now we need to attach the data. So the data from GO. So we go here and type in GO. Uh, like you can see here, uh, colon, double slash. And here we paste our SRR number. Alternatively, if uh, you can upload FASTQ or uh, zip FASTQ file from your computer, uh, you can upload from server directory or you can upload from core facility if it is set up. So after we enter uh, JO, we can click attach and uh, uh, we're almost done. Let's look at the advanced. Uh, here we can exclude uh, chromosomes, we can uh, click the reads and uh, this selects a number of threads. So we're going to use the default values and save the sample. So now it is processing and we will look up 
with the results after it is done.